Hello everyone, in this how to test tips we're going to be talking about cable and antenna testing, having the One Advisor 100 equipped with a cable and antenna module. So first we're going to be selecting test, cable and antenna analysis and then any of its test functions. And here then we're going to be selecting the uh, configuration file that corresponds to the site under test. In this specific example, we have information of the uh, multiple tests at different frequencies and uh, basically two key tests, reflection, return loss, and distance to fault. Here we can see in the top that we have all our measurements and the instrument is calibrated. If it is not, we can just select Cal button and go through the process of calibration. In this case, we don't need it because it's already calibrated. So now we just connect the cable under test into the cable and antenna analyzer RF port. And here, as you can see, the setup also has limits, so we can easily have a pass fail indicator. On the top, we have return loss, and on the bottom, we have distance to fault. If we're happy with the measurement, we just save the measurement. In this case, I'm going to be creating a folder, and that's going to be under my internal memory Stratasync folder. And that's going to allow me that when I synchronize my instrument Stratasync, all the results will be there. So you just put a name, save it, and then I go to the next tab, which is going to be a similar test, but with a defined frequency. In this case 700 MHz and I continue with the other measurement tabs and save the results. At the end of the process now I'm going to be uh, creating a report that will contain all the measurements that we have done. So here I'm just going to create a report and as you can see I can populate all different fields of the report of the uh, measurement site, the frequencies, uh, who did the test, uh, what was the job number, and so on. And also here I'm going to be able to add all the different measurements that we just have conducted. So I just go into my folder and select each of the measurements that, uh, that we have done. Then I just uh, define the uh, file name of this report and I save it. And here if I want to see my report, I can just go into the system and the specific location where I save the report. I'm just going to be opening the uh, report generated as a PDF file. And as you can see, it contains all the measurements that we have conducted. Now, if I want to make these tests in multiple sites, I can even create a favorite. This favorite is going to show up in the favorites page of the One Advisor 100. Just put a name on it. And then if I go to my homepage, favorites, I can see my favorite icon. So if I just select it, then as you can see, we're going to be able to get all the different measurements of the setup that we have used. Now, to save all the measurements into Stratasync, I'm just going to my homepage, System Stratasync, and I synchronize. This will put all different measurements that we have saved under the Stratasync folder into my Stratasync account. Now, I'm going to be going over my Stratasync account. And here in the dashboard, I'm going to go directly into my test data. And I have sorted by date. So this is what I have just synchronized. And as you can see, I have all my measurements available. I can open in one of them and have all the screenshots as well as all the uh, JSON information with my pass fail indicators. And that's it. For more information, please visit VIV 5G Test Solutions. Thanks for watching.